heard it's about 6 10 6 15 in the morning and uh, heading out looking for some sheds hoping to get into some elk sheds today so stick with us ramsack nation we're at it today see you soon hopefully with a big old brown beautiful morning sun coming up fixing to head up the mountain we got probably about a two hour hike at least where i'm gonna go but uh fun day and just thankful to be able to be out here and uh, always start my height with a little prayer. Guys, I have been hiking literally for like two hours and I think two hours and 15 minutes trying to get to a spot that I really wanted to check. And I just, I mean, I just got in here and just kind of dropped off of that ridge right up there and come down in here. <laughs> and man, I was coming along and I was thinking, man, I have not found, I mean, anything. And bro, I just looked up and I think I got a big brown elk shed right here. See if you can see it right there. Here we go, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Man, the other one should be right here. I mean, this is a beautiful place for this bull to just be laying. And, and uh, man, it's just a young, young bull. But, oh man, the potential of this bull is unreal, guys. We'll take a few pictures, and uh, then I'm gonna, I'll, uh, I'll do the pickup here, but I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, we're gonna pick him up now. Here we go. <clears throat> Nice man, nice, nice. Just a good little young bull. Look at that. Just a small bar. I mean, this bull, this bull really is young. And uh, there he is. I'm gonna try to find this other side to him. Man, it should be right here close. So, why don't I get back with you? My word, it's hot. Started off at 49 degrees this morning. I come way off that mountain, come down, went in the bottom, and come up. And uh, I've only found I found a found a five by brown, nice little brown elk shed, and then an old. I'm talking about probably 12 years old, 15 year old deer horn. And man, I come right up through here, walking right through here, come right here like this, going up. And I got right here, and I turned and looked back, and there's an elk shed by that tree, laying right in a, in a bear's bed. You guys think about that. Guys, here we go. Let's pick it up. It's laying right here. This is a big old bear bed. Bunch of bear poop right there. Let's grab this horn out of here. Been laying here a while, too. I'm going to say it's been there probably three years. But hey, all sheds matter. Well, <clears throat> I've been over in this little meadowy area right up here because I found a, uh, a five by about two years old around the other side of it just a few minutes ago maybe ten minutes ago and I uh, just started doing some loops trying to trying to see you know if I could find the other side and I come out on the other side of this little meadow and uh, <laughs> I was peeking around through these Look at all this dead stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but right there is another shed, but it's old. But hey, 
Let's go pick it up. All right, let's pick this old sucker up here. Oh man, that's a stubby little dude, ain't it? Look at, look at how bladed that four, uh, four is, but it's all stubby looking. <laughs> they laid here a long time. All right, we gonna keep on looking. And another little ragger right there, boys. Okay, guys, the pack is <clears throat> filling up pretty quick. And man, this stuff is so green and thick. You literally have to walk right up on a shed to even see it. And uh, man, I was just coming through all this, all this thick, thick stuff out right here. Just kind of weaving my way around through it real, real slow. And uh, this is how good, this is how good they're here. Old, old deer shed right here. Let's pick it up. Oh, wow. That was a nice, that was a nice buck. All right. It's the second deer shed I found. Man, I'll take them all. It don't matter to me. We'll put it on the pack and kind of making a swing out of here now. I've, I'm about eight miles in, so I need to start heading back to the truck. Just about back to the truck. Got a pretty full pack. I ended up with four elk and two deer sheds. 14 and a half miles. It's 2.30 right now. I think I started walking in about 6.45. So, been a day, but did find a few, so you can't complain with that. Ramsack Nation. Coming at you as many times as we can here before it gets too hot. Guys, it is so hot today. <laughs> it's supposed to hit 80 degrees. I'm sure it's there right now. Carry plenty of water if y'all go out and shed hunt. It's a scorcher. I always, I always have water left over when I get back to the truck. And I carried extra today and just drank the last of it about a quarter mile back. So be safe out there. Hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell. We're gonna be bringing you lots of content over the next little while. We'll see you here soon. All right, folks, here we go. Just getting some burgers ready to throw on the grill. Waiting on Steven to get home. He'll be here in about 30 minutes. And uh, we're gonna go hit another spot and see if we can't pick up some more elk shed. So y'all come go with us, Ramsack Nation. We're back fixing to get at it right here. Let's throw these bad boys on the grill. All right, here we go. Got some sriracha, black pepper seasoning on those. And then just a little bit more traditional uh, tony and garlic, onion, black pepper. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried this before, but uh, just black pepper on uh, wild game burgers. These are deer, uh, but elk, whatever um I, I the first time i tried it um somebody told me about it and i thought it would make it too spicy and i love spicy food but it actually just gives it a great flavor so try that sometime on wild game burger just pepper as seasoning for burgers so we're gonna get these going we're gonna eat a good meal and we're going to find some milk. finally made it to our spot guys finally steven got off work we ate some good burgers and uh, man, it's about, oh, 12.30 now. And we're just fixing to leave the truck, go hit this next canyon over. So wish us luck, come go with us. All right, so uh, we're dropping off this ledge here to get down to the place that we're gonna blast mainly. 
Uh, we were just walking in single file right down these rocks. And I looked down there and there's a little rack on it. Get it laying right there. So I'm going to go down and pick it up. Good way to start the day. For sure. More than dirt. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Good sign. I ain't met too many people up here, though. I would say not. Buy some more. All right. So we just got down in here. Stephen found a four by on the way in, and we come out right here on this big old rock, and uh, man, we just come right through there and got out there and been glassing, glassing in these canyons, and uh, we decided to turn and go down this side of this canyon just glassing and literally I mean um, from right there 30 yards from where we're sitting glassing I come around and look here's a brown busted off right here but a cool looking little brown little brown horn we are so glad to have it I promise you Pretty, pretty little old bull. Nothing, nothing huge. Just a cool little, cool little bull. That's what it's all about right there. Come on, let's go see if we can find the other one. We're gonna keep blasting this rim. <laughs> 